The remains of Zimbabwe's former president, Robert Mugabe, are expected to arrive in Harare today. They will then be taken straight to his village in Kutama. As our Zimbabwe correspondent, Polisani Mube, is standing by as we speak this hour, we'll be crossing to him in just a moment. This follows, of course, uh, the body of uh, former president uh, Robert Mugabe leaving Singapore earlier on this morning. Uh, and uh, this followed a, a mass, a Catholic mass, that was held there uh, yesterday. Of course, uh, the uh, former president of Zimbabwe passing uh, last week, Friday, at the age of 95 uh, from an undisclosed illness at a hospital in Singapore. As we speak right now, Zimbabweans are lining up at the Robert Mugabe International Airport, uh, ready to receive the remains of uh, Robert Mugabe. He will be going straight to his village in uh, Kutuma in Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, then, of course, the official funeral will be held uh, this coming Saturday, and the burial will be on Sunday. Still unclear at this point where the body will be buried. Tolisani Mube, he is our Zimbabwean correspondent joining us now on the line. Tolisani, the program indicates that, uh, of course, the body will be arriving this hour at 2 o'clock. What will follow next? <laughs> Olisani, the body of uh, former President uh, Robert Mugabe arriving this hour, according to the program, what is going to follow next? Well, well, we are here at the Robert Mugabe International Airport, where we are waiting for the arrival of the body of the former President Robert Mugabe. According to the program here, we are supposed to land in Harare around half past two. And from there, we understand he'll be taken to his raw home in Zimba. Then, then there will be a mass funeral on Thursday and Friday. On Saturday, there will be a, a funeral supported by the state at the National Sports Stadium. We are so far from the list, we understand close to 20 former presidents and, and sitting presidents are said to come and witness or oh, bid farewell to this giant man whom they, some believe is a hero, others believe is a villain to, the, to them. Now, how are the people uh, reacting right now, right there at uh, Robert Mugabe uh, International Airport? Is it uh, uh, in anticipation? Is it business as usual? We have seen, of course, uh, varying reaction to the news of his passing, but those who are gathered there, I'm sure, are there uh, to show their support. The connection seems to be so, so, so faint, but I can tell you that here we have Zanu PF supporters who have come in numbers to come and receive the body of their leader. As you might know, Robert Mugabe used to come here and be received by supporters each time he was coming from outside the country when he was in power for 37 years. This will be the last time that Robert Mugabe will be coming to Zimbabwe at, at the Robert Mugabe International Airport, an airport that was named after him. And this is the last time that Robert Mugabe will be received by his He's former vice president, who is now the president of the country, and this is the last time that you'll be received at this airport and bid farewell to his by his people. The mood here, I can tell you, it seems somber. Everybody's really shocked and some are worried, although they knew that Robert Mugabe one day would meet his maker. By the way, Robert Mugabe was 95 years old, and definitely at that age, anything could have happened, something many people knew but not prepared for. Right, Olisani Mube, he is, of course, our special correspondent reporting for us live from the Robert Mugabe International Airport. And you can hear there uh, the uh, military choir singing in the background. According to the program, the remains of uh, the former president uh, of Zimbabwe arriving at 2.30 uh, this hour. We'll bring you all the latest reporting coming through from uh, Zimbabwe as it happens here on the newsfeed.